If you're not getting the love you want and desire, it's okay to have an affair. You have my permission and encouragement. Are you one of those people that focus on others, giving freely and generously? And then sometimes you feel depleted or frustrated because you're not reciprocated in the same thoughtful way. You've forgotten the biggest love of your life. Today, I'm going to give you two tips that will change your life and cause you to have an affair. I'm Sarah Graves, Chief Relationship Officer for Invite Change and a full-time coach. Avatars, saints, and philosophers have told us for centuries to love others as we love ourselves, but we forgot to love ourselves. And in the wake of like, share, follow, fear of other people's opinions, fear of missing out, we have all of this abounding, which is shaking our confidence and certainly shaking our love for ourselves. Rumi has a great quote about self-love. Your task is not to seek for love, but merely to seek and find all the barriers within yourself that you have built against it. What he's saying there is we've got to love ourselves before we can love others. So what do my clients do? They create their own playlist. I have one client and the name of their playlist of their favorite love songs is Falling in Love with Myself. Some people even are on Instagram singing their favorite love song to themselves. So you can use your ingenuity and your creativity to find ways to create that love affair with yourself. So that when you see something on Facebook or Instagram and you think, oh, I'm missing out, maybe pour yourself a glass of bubbles, take a bath, enjoy yourself and appreciate yourself. And don't look out there, but look within and get quiet and appreciate yourself. Now that you've started your affair, it's time to click the subscribe button below and the icon for notifications because these messages and this content are a way to feed your love for yourself and for others. Tip number two, this I call the mirror exercise. The next time you're done brushing your teeth or shaving or doing your makeup, take a pause and after you approve of whatever you've done, just take a nice deep breath and look into the mirror and look into your eyes. Make eye contact with yourself, not to see how you look, but to tune in to who you are and how you feel. And then after you've taken that deep breath, what do you wanna to say to yourself? What is something loving, kind, or appreciative that you could say out loud to yourself in the mirror? I remember the first time I ever did this exercise, I was so filled with emotion. I had tears coming down my face because I was so used to doing things for others and criticizing myself that just that interaction was so precious and it can be a way for you to really foster that self-love. So you could say something like, ah, I love you or thanks for a great day, or thank you for really getting past that tough argument or discussion at work and finding your appreciation and your thoughtfulness with that person. So in other words, just practice being with yourself. And by the way, when this is a full-fledged tool, you can use it in a lot of places. I used to look in my rear view mirror before an interview or for, before a tough meeting. You can make eye contact, tell yourself you love yourself and how strong you are and you're good. You got this, right? And even if someone's sitting next to you, you can telepathically tell yourself, I love you. I appreciate you. I see your strength, whatever comes up for you, honestly, in the moment. If you really want to go all out, you could send yourself flowers. You could send yourself a nice bottle of wine. It's all a way of remembering that you are the greatest love affair of your life.